So we have what we call bunkering. We bring barges alongside while we're in port sometimes. We don't do it every single cruise yet. In Galveston, we don't do it every single cruise because we hold enough fuel on board to last us more than two weeks. So we do it every two weeks and we only fill up like half the tank as well because a full tank could last a month, but it costs like a, a million dollars just to fill up the tank, approximately. He knows all the financials. But uh, we bunker up alongside and, and then it usually takes the entire time from seven o'clock in the morning all the way up till three o'clock in the afternoon to fill up half the tank. As far as the, the poo, <laughs> which is created by some of us, uh, is used for generating extra power. <laughs> we burn it for fuel, yes. And and then um, <laughs> some of it's offloaded. What? No, you're just, she's believing you now. <laughs> no, you can't say that. Look at her little face. <laughs> she's going to be sitting in there in about an hour. She's going to be sitting there thinking, I'm helping get us home. <laughs> I really like the system on board the ships because if, if, if you do it the right way, it'll just suck everything right out of you. And then it goes right into a poop tank, and that poop tank fills up, and then we have a poop truck. And then the poop guy comes out, he takes the poop truck, and he pulls it along the poop chute, and then he takes the poop out, and he fills up the poop truck. And then they, the poop guy takes the poop truck, and then he drives it to the poop warehouse. And then they put it in the poop warehouse, and they file it, just in case they have to do any research on the poop that we had on the ship. How many guys going to Exactly. <laughs> we use a company called Piavano's Sewage Trucking Company. They're the number one in the number two business, that's how we use them. So it's all about the Okay, food. so very... <laughs> in the old days, before um, the certain government interventions, the cruise industry could throw anything and everything overboard. I mean, everything. everything. Um, at the end of the day, uh, we would go, any the food that was waste, straight overboard. Ice carvings, overboard, everything. Uh, in 1995, there was a new uh, convention of the US Coast Guard and other government agencies it's highly illegal for every, anything to be thrown overboard, and we have an environmental officer on every single ship. Uh, we have strict rules and regulations. Carnival is the leader in environmental protection. Some of our ships will have new uh, low um, fuel emission ships coming out in the future. Our new XL, XL ships um, will have uh, very low fuel emission. Um, and it's the same with, with the fuel that you leave us. It does now have to be taken off not like 20 years ago where it could just be put back into the ocean, eaten by the fish, and then we eat the fish, so that's why we stopped it. But um, here's, a, here's a figure for you. 1.8 million US dollars. You can write that one down. 1.8 million US dollars is Carnival Cruise Line's weekly current fuel bill on 24 ships. 1.8 million US dollars. Wow. Even with the price of fuel as low as it is now, that's how much we spend across the board fueling the ships. And that's we spend Ooh. our fuel bill. Even with fuel with prices at around forty dollars a barrel now, um, even with that, it, our fuel is our biggest expense. Not salary. Uh, fuel is Carnival's biggest expense. And that's well done. I mean, just with you guys and your cars, you know that for sure. You you actually brought something out that I'm interested in hearing more about since you're here. It's an honor. The XL ships. We've heard about it. A lot of people don't know about it. The bloggers.